A group of 80 Rwandan investors is in Egypt to discuss investment opportunities. They have pledged to make use of the good standing relationship between Rwanda and Egypt. Take a look. About 80 Rwandan investors are in talks with about 300 of the Egyptian counterparts. The B2B discussions intend to help these investors work together and explore opportunities at hand. At the same time, the exhibition is being held where Rwandan products including coffee, tea, fruits and flowers are being showcased. Investment is possible, as authorities in charge are present here and they promised to facilitate investors in every possible way. Egypt is a highly industrialized country, which is why we came here so that we can work together with them. Egyptian investors noted that there are many benefits, there are many benefits around working with modern investors. We have uh, a good opportunity uh, for the relationship between Egypt and Rwanda because uh, now Egypt have uh, a lot of factories work in different sectors. Uh, we have different quality which we want to have. Uh, the relationship between Egypt and Rwanda should be moved in the next, uh, the next year because, uh, as you know, the corona, uh, corona makes the general uh, economic in, in the world not well, but in Egypt is good. We are in Egypt, as you know, one of the best uh, economy growing in the corona, in, in the world. And a lot of companies in Egypt uh, have a good relationship uh, with uh, Africa. Robert Bapakurera, president of the Rwanda Private Sector Federation, told Egyptian investors that Rwanda is a country they should invest in, considering the fact that the country is safe and that there are no barriers to investors in the country. Learning from others, networking, and getting to know things they need that are manufactured in the region, plus looking at investment opportunities available between both countries, we are also looking at how they can invest in Rwanda's industrial sector, and they also showed us opportunities to invest in Egypt. Rwanda's ambassador to Egypt, Alfred Kalisa, called on investors from both countries to improve relations between the two countries and make use of the African Continental Free Trade Area agreements. Well, the participation was, uh, was, uh, was quite... Uh, 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 Great. We we believe that uh, this is a chance for uh, Rwanda to uh, to really increase uh, its export to uh, to Egypt. On the other side, there are also many Egyptians uh, who were here. About 200 of them, as I said, uh, will be uh, uh, they have discussed already with the uh, Rwandan counterparts in terms of providing raw materials, of, uh, uh, high quality at an affordable price. Egypt is close to, to, uh, to, to East Africa uh, by way of uh, shipping to the Suez Canal. We also touched on the issues of uh, logistics, given the delays in shipping some of the containers, as well as a lack of cargo air freight from uh, uh, Kigali to Cairo, which tends to delay uh, merchandises uh, each way, either from Rwanda if you are going to export flowers from Rwanda or uh, export some of the pharmaceutical products from Egypt, you will need cargo. So it's, uh, this is also an issue that was raised. Hopefully uh, it will be attended to. But the opportunities are tremendous and I think that the trade flows and investment flows between the two uh, countries are going to grow uh, significantly in the uh, uh, short term. Egypt has made great strides in the sectors of tourism, infrastructure, energy, trade and more. The country's airline makes direct flights to Kigali and the meeting is looking at how Rwanda Air can commence flights to Egypt in order to ease the movement of traders and investors in both countries. Over the past five years, trade between Rwanda and Egypt was valued at 250 million US dollars, 